Gentlemen, it's D-Day plus two. Yesterday we landed at Omaha Beach. Today we will face the enemy. Uh, here you see our order of battle. We've been uh, assigned uh, a 50 cal heavy machine gun and a mortar section from our heavy weapons company. Uh, as well as a artillery forward observer from the 15th Field Artillery Battalion that may support us with 105 mm howitzer shells. So the overall plan for today will be first platoon advancing on our left flank holding contact to our sister company same with the second platoon on our right. They will secure the woods and hedgerows respectively as well as securing the village in the center of our sector. The third platoon will accompany the first sergeant and uh, the company staff uh, with the additional heavy weapon teams to take our attack position in the church and then commence an um, united attack on our final objectives. The first platoon splits off an assault team from its third squad and orders it to move forward into the orchard grove. The same does the second platoon moving an assault team forward into the orchard grove on the right flank. Using their initiative both the thought teams are able to find covered positions and due to the very careful approach no contact has made has been made so far it seems that uh, our regiment uh, goes in this offensive very well prepared as our battalion headquarter informs us that some 50 cal ammunition has been deployed in uh, a forward position and uh, this mission uh, seems to be planned out very well indeed not only did we get ammunition for our, for our uh, heavy machine gun in front of our positions but based on the preparings of the battalion staff our company HQ is able to activate all platoons. The third platoon now splits off assault teams too and orders them to advance into the Orchard Grove to secure the HMG ammunition there and one into the open fields. That is quite risky indeed. The first platoon HQ moves up taking with it the first squad and the light machine gun. They move into this cover position where they order the assault team to move on. On the right flank the second platoon HQ does the same moves on with its first squad and the attached light machine gun. Uh, into the cover position of the assault team here but stays put in position to provide possible cover fire to the assault team into the in the orchard there as the company still has the initiative all three assault teams out there are able to find covered positions but here comes the Germans, an unspotted LMG team opens fire uh, from position near the church onto one of our assault teams that is there out in the open fields. Fortunately, the assault team that has pushed out on the left flank does not make contact with any German forces. 
our assault team here in the open fields that managed to find the only cover available is under fire, automatic fire from the LMG team near the church. It has a cover value of plus one, minus one, minus two makes total minus two. And a minus two is a hit. It's a line and the assault team converts to a fire team. Could have been worse. It's the beginning of turn three and so far we only made contact with one, only one German LMG team near the church and trench unspotted opened fire here on our assault team in the open fields but in cover and it was uh, flipped in the result to a fire team and of course because it is hit it is pinned now here in this covered position in the open fields. We have parts of the second uh, platoon here on the right flank I guess they will try and spot the LMG team and send another um, spotter uh, out into the woods. On the right flank, uh, sorry, on the left flank, we have the first platoon. Parts of it, parts are still back here in reserve, and uh, those might advance into the village not sure we have one assault team up there on the far left and maybe that one will go into the village i'm not sure about it and there is the third platoon still in reserve which um, did split off this assault team oh sorry and uh, this assault team that is now a fire team over here. So we definitely definitely need to spot this unit here and we need to to make some progress. Hopefully even take the church on this turn and our company HQ has five commands right now so that's a good thing we can activate all our platoons. The first platoon will move on and leave this covered position in this orchard here and takes with it its first squad and the light machine gun and it will move into this covered position where the assault team is and then again it will order the assault team to move on into the cemetery so first platoon moves. That might be somewhat problematic because there are the main forces uh, so to say and that is two squads and the anti-tank team are still in reserve so the platoon HQ needs at some point move back to the staging area and and bring these guys to the front but right now we have open space no enemies here and um, we will move on and on and of course we need to put an exposed mark on the assault team and on parts of our first platoon moving up into this cover position on the hedge row bocage and now the assault team will move on and whilst moving up the First platoon HQ obviously needs to drop a phone line here in the orchard which they just uh, left to move up into the hedgerow bocage and then ordered the assault team to move up into the cemetery so they can uh, stay in communications with the company HQ. On the right flank the second platoon is somewhat uh, very cautious it seems so there is no order to to move uh, an assault team 
up into the woods or something. The only order is to try and spot the German LMG team. And it does great. So now the enemy is spotted and immediately the troops in the orchard open fire and there is a a light machine gun in here opening fire and the the pinned uh, fire team also gonna open fire onto the LMG team which is therefore in crossfires and uh, obviously the assault team doesn't have the range to open fire as well. The third platoon moves up into this covered position together with the first squad, which is then ordered to attempt a grenade attack using its rifle grenade onto this entrenched position. And the grenade attack is successful, so there is a volume of fire marker added here and the rifle grenade is used, of course. Finally, the first sergeant moves up the 50 cal heavy machine gun and attempts to seek cover, which is successful using its initiative. The forward assault team in the cemetery tries to find a covered position, but is not able to do so. The light machine gun team tries to concentrate fire onto the fire team here in the open fields, but uh, does not hit the spot. So finally we are going to resolve this con potential contact B in the cemetery. And as we are still in contact, we're going to draw five cards. One, two, three, four, five. And indeed, we made contact with the enemy. The assault team in the cemetery finally made contact. Also, the enemies are unspotted with a Schützen platoon in some trenches here in the gully and uh, with an HMG team and an MG platoon in a bunker right in front uh, of their position also unspotted here in the hedge rows and of course those guys gonna open fire on this position which is now under crossfire by automatic weapons right yep that's the case so really in a bad spot this assault team here and we gonna resolve the combat there so this is a plus one, minus one, zero, minus one, minus three for the assault team. Draw a card, minus three is a hit. Draw another card, it is a casualty. Too bad, the assault team is dead. And we haven't spotted the enemy there, which is a real problem now. In the center there is our pinned fire team here, still under fire by the enemy LMG team. And it has a plus one cover here, so we draw plus one is a pin. It is already pinned, so it stays pinned. Everything is fine there. Next up, the German LMG team over here 
which has a cover value of 5 and which is reduced by 2 due to the LMG fire coming in from our second platoon and the crossfire coming in here and uh, so we are at 3 and then we have the grenade which gives a minus 4 which is a minus 1 and we check on minus 1 it's a pin too bad could have been better it's a pin so grenade is removed and that is that it's pin that's all and now the fire coming out here is a all pin fire right although it's automatic it's an all pin fire turn four after we now know that there are some strong enemy defensive positions over there although we haven't spotted their exact location yet the first platoon HQ which is here with the first squad and its uh, light machine gun team decides to abandon this position in the hedgerow bocage and uh, because it cannot deal with MG42 fire from this position coming over this uh, open cemetery that uh, can be overviewed from there pretty well uh, we need to adjust our strategy and also there are still parts of the first platoon in the staging area and therefore we gonna fall back with these uh, units um, before we do that we tried to spot this position here the bunker with the HMG and the MG platoon but we were not able to spot them so we gonna move back onto this cart the orchard here and we are marked it as exposed on the right flank the second platoon HQ orders the assault team to move into the woods and uh, check this location for enemies and um, it will keep its position I guess uh, it has three commands so that's one no the platoon HQ will move backwards into the staging area so it can then uh, bring the remaining forces of the second platoon up into this position and of course the assault team is marked exposed. In the center here in the orchard we have the third platoon under this cover marker and actually I missed to place a PDF marker. They are the first uh, squad of the third platoon is also firing into this card. Uh, didn't change anything regarding the volume of fire markers but that's the case and actually the HMG the 50 cal has now also set up its gun so the team opens fire into this position and therefore we need to place a heavy weapons volume of fire marker which is good news. So what will the third platoon do? I think move back. The HQ will move back so it can then next turn bring um, the remaining forces of the third platoon into this location here uh, because hopefully then we will have annihilated the LMG team near the church and also we have the first sergeant and where is he? He is in this cover position here he will move back yeah the first sergeant will move back so he can bring the artillery forward observer in one of the upcoming turns 
to the front and additionally we have the executing officer who commands the mortar section and he will will he move up I don't think he will but he will order the mortar section to do so let me grab the mortar section ah, so that's the ammunition and here we go mortar section is here and of course is exposed by the movement and let's hope that we can actually neutralize this LMG team because it might shift fire onto this card. In the general initiative phase the assault team that advanced into the woods tries to find some cover drawing four cards and indeed they manage to find a good place to hide. And we have one additional point of general initiative and I think the fire team down here will try to rally and it does so, so it's no longer pinned now. Great news and they will hold their position here. The Germans seem to have a quite mobile defensive and therefore those troops up, up here will retreat off the map as they have no longer any valid target in their line of sight. Thereby the contact level are reduced to contact from engage and we need to check this potential contact A and uh, we check how many cards we need to draw A on contact 7 cards Six and seven and we are again very very lucky no contact made in the woods so that's great news I missed the activity check for the LMG and that is gonna concentrate fire onto the fire team in the open fields now we're in the combat effects segment so we gonna check combat effects and let's start with the fire team here uh, which uh, the enemy is still pinned so zero terrain cover uh, fired upon by a pinned LMG team gives plus two minus one due to concentrated fire here makes one and plus one for the cover makes plus two again a plus two is a pin okay so again our fire team is pinned could have been worse so now we gonna deal with the LMG team let's hope so at least it has a cover of three due to terrain plus two for the trenches plus one for being pinned which totals six and um, is under fire by heavy weapons and under crossfire which totals four which in the end comes to a plus two and a plus two here is a miss so we were not able to actually deal with this location and I think the pin marker is removed and I was right about the pin marker it is removed if the target is not hit so now we're gonna go to the cleanup and remove all the exposed markers so we are ready for turn number five 
and one is here. And the concentrate fire marker needs to be removed as well. And that is that. On the end of turn four, we are still mainly active in row one. We've pushed one assault team into the woods. Uh, no enemy contact there, luckily. We have pushed one assault team up into the cemetery, which was annihilated by strong, a strong defensive position of German forces in a bunker um, with an MG42. And these guys got killed. So the first platoon HQ decided to fall back uh, because the enemies weren't spotted at that point and came back into the secured orchard here at the flank of our uh, section and uh, so it will be able to to pick up the remaining forces of its platoon that are back in the staging area in the next turn maybe and uh, yeah move its troops into the village here so we then can prepare to attack Objective 1 on this hill. In the center here we have our HMG in position. We now brought our mortar section here, which will be able to uh, support uh, our infantry with some mortar shells. And uh, we moved some tubes back, so the third platoon HQ is back in the staging area and they're able to bring its remaining forces up and the second platoon HQ here on the right is also back and able to bring uh, those forces here we still have the LMG here firing onto the church and the entrenched posi position of this one LMG team which uh, kind of stops our advance all over the front of our sector of operations so we want to push into the woods, we want to push into the church and we want to clear the village on the next turn. Let's hope that that will go well.